Choosing your subjects carefully at advanced level is really important. When it comes to picking your A-levels, your Scottish hires, Welsh or International Baccalaureate, there's lots to consider. What are you good at? What really interests you? What's on offer at your school or college? But if you have aspirations to go to a leading university, you really must check their entry requirements for the course you're interested in. Some degrees build on knowledge you gain at school. For example, if you want to study chemistry, you need to have already studied it at advanced level. If you want to go on to medicine, you'll need to have studied sciences beforehand. And most engineering degrees require maths and physics. But the requirements may not always be what you expect. For example, top law departments do not necessarily want applicants with law at A level. They may well prefer other essay-based subjects, like history or English. And you might not know which course you want to apply for yet. That's why we urge you to think carefully about choosing advanced level subjects which keep your options open and maximize your chances of gaining a place at a leading university. Anne, you're a maths teacher. Why is maths A-level a good subject to take? I think that it develops your logical reasoning, organisational skills, logical thinking, all those things I think uh, makes it an essential requirement for so many degree courses, physics, computer science, maths itself obviously. Yeah, um, is maths A-level a good A-level to take to open up oh yeah, I mean, jobs in the future? Working in the city, architects, uh, doctors. Um, there's such a variety of jobs that are available to students with, with a strong mathematical background. The subjects Russell Group Universities most frequently ask for are what we call facilitating subjects. They are maths and further maths, physics, chemistry, biology, history, geography, languages and English literature. These subjects are particularly good at equipping you with the skills and knowledge you need for lots of our courses, so please think twice before dropping them. You don't only have to take facilitating subjects. There are some subjects like economics, music, religious studies, which are highly regarded by our institutions. But it's a really good rule of thumb that taking two facilitating subjects will keep a wide range of degree courses and career options open to you. I think there's a lot of mythology about certain degree courses. Law is a classic example where students might think, oh well, I know nothing about law, how can I go to do a degree in it when I go to university? We get students who've come in with a very solid science background and actually if they're going into something like intellectual property law, that could be really, really helpful. Equally, we will get students who come maybe from a, a sort of more creative background. And what if, at the beginning of your sixth form, you really don't know what you want to do? What are the subjects that will keep your options open? Um, I think it's important for students to recognise that there's quite a wide range of skills that different A-levels give. And that's partly why the facilitating subjects list is really helpful. So students could do something such as mathematics and that'll be useful for subjects like economics, it'll be helpful for things like geography, uh, as well as the maths based subjects that maybe they're immediately associated with. I'm a third year maths and computer scientist. I took maths, further maths, chemistry, biology and psychology. How did you choose those subjects? Did you get advice from your teachers or parents or where else did you go for that information? I think my head of sixth form was really nice and he gave me a lot of good advice and I went to the local careers office as well. I always knew I wanted to study the maths and the further maths but psychology was the one which I was um, in and out in between that music and ICT but looking back I'm glad I didn't take the ICT. Gillian, what about you? Which subjects did you take at A-level? I did maths, uh, government and politics, RS and Spanish, and also did German at AS level. Did you do some research yourself? Did you look on the websites or prospectuses? So yes, I knew that in the future I'd want to do something related to law or finance. And on that basis, I chose subjects um, that would help me with my problem solving and um, building arguments and being able to formulate ideas. So definitely, I think I chose the right subjects. 
What are the main mistakes that students can make when they're choosing their A-level subjects and will disadvantage them in getting a place at your university? I think sometimes students focus too narrowly, so they'll almost take subjects that, that directly overlap. Probably more importantly, students don't necessarily think through what skills they've developed by doing the A-level subjects that they've picked. And universities will often put onto their websites the selection criteria for their degree courses, the kind of skills and qualities that we're looking for, and actually can be very helpful quite a, early on in their time at A-level for students to look at that information and then begin to see how those A-levels that they're doing are helping them develop those skills. A-level choices really matter and we worry that some students don't get the advice and guidance they need to make these life-changing decisions. That's why we published Informed Choices, a document to give you more help and information to make these vital decisions. So if you've already chosen your university path, or you just want to keep your options open, please do talk to your teachers, advisors and parents, do lots of research, and take a look at Informed Choices. Good luck. Thank you.